Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 17 to the power 13 and 7 to the power 17, and we're going to figure out which number is larger. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. Did I write first one again? It should be first method. Okay. So for our first method, we're going to compare 17 uh, to a power of 2 and we're going to do the same thing for 7 and then we'll put those two together. All right, let's see how this goes. 17 is obviously greater than 16, which is 2 to the fourth power. So I can safely say that 17 to the power 13 is greater than 16 to the power 13. And since 16 can be written as 2 to the fourth power, then I can just raise it to the 13th and that's going to give me 2 to the power 52 because we're supposed to multiply 4 times 13. Great. So 17 to the 13th power is greater than 2 to the 52nd power. These are very large numbers. At the end, I'm also going to give you the numerical values after we're done with both methods. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and take a look at 7 to the power 17. And since 7 is less than 8, we can basically compare this number to 8 to the power 17. And since 8 can be written as 2 to the third power, and I think we've done a similar problem a while ago. I can also include the link down below. And this is going to be 3 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3 to the power 17, which can be written as 2 to the power 51. Wow, those numbers are pretty close. That's the general idea. So now we we know that 2 to the power 52 obviously is greater than 2 to the power 51, right? So we can just go ahead and use this. Great, so now we can start off with obvious, and, and you can get from the first uh, chain of inequalities that we have a power of 2 that is greater than another power, but our number, one of our numbers, 17 to the power of 13, is even greater than that. So we can kind of start off like this. We're going to start with 17 to the power of 13, and we do know that it is greater than 2 to the power 52. But 2 to the power 52 is obviously greater than 2 to the power, is greater than 2 to the power 51. And as you know, 2 to the power 51 from here is greater than 7 to the power 17. So chain of inequalities is basically going to give us 17 to the power 13 is greater than 7 to the power 17. So this is going to be our larger number. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And you know, with comparing numbers, a lot of times I'll be presenting one method, but this time I decided to use two methods. Great. So here's the second method. First of all, we're trying to compare 17 to the power 13 and 7 to the power 17. So let's go ahead and uh, use substitution. Suppose a is equal to 17 to the power 13 and b is equal to 7 to the power 17. So I'm going to be logging a and b. Uh, the idea behind this is basically if I log both sides, I'm going to get rid of the exponents by using the properties of exponents or logs rather. Log a is going to be log 17 to the power 13 and that can be written as 13 times log 17. And log b is going to be log of 7 over to the power 17, and that can be written as 17 times log 7. So here's the million dollar question, which of these numbers is larger? Obviously, you can go ahead and, you know, evaluate these numbers by using a calculator or something else, uh, and then look at the comparison. But for this purpose, uh, I'm just going to give you those values. So we're looking at two numbers here, 13 log 17 and 17 log 7. Okay, so the first one is basically log A, right? That's what we call log A. And second number is just log B. So what do we see? We do see that log A is greater than log B. What is that supposed to mean? It means that, does this mean A is greater than B? Well, that is true. A is greater than B because a log function y equals log x is increasing all the time. So it kind of looks like the ln, right? 
It's an x-intercept, no y-intercept. It has an asymptote, so on and so forth. But yes, it's always increasing. Obviously, it's only defined for x's greater than zero. But yes, this function is increasing. Therefore, uh, this implies that a is greater than b. But what is a? What is b, right? Well, a is 17 to the power 13. Therefore, this is going to be our larger number in this case. But what about the numerical values? Let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical values for these two numbers so that we can see what they look like, right? Okay, so 17 to the power 13 is going to be uh, approximately, I shouldn't write equals, but roughly this number is going to equal 9.905 multiplied by 10 to the power 15, and 7 to the power 17 is going to be roughly 2.326 multiplied by 10 to the power 14. And therefore, our seven, first number, 17 to the power 13, is going to be larger. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.